Uh, let us discuss the example number two of bearing stress in the PowerPoint previously, previously given. So I hope you'll understand the meaning of sharing stress. So for a certain truss, which is this one, you have a, a given truss. Let's say a roof truss, a roof truss that uh, is supposed to be uh, looking, looks this way. Okay, so you have a roof truss, let's say you have a simple home. And this part of your truss looks something like this. Okay, that is the joint. This is how the joint looks like. Uh, I'm just explaining to you how the problem in uh, in shearing stress is in our PowerPoint. So this this part of your truss looks like this. And this one in isometric actually looks something this way. Okay, this way. So that is how it is. That is how the figure for the for the top cord and the bottom cord looks like. Okay, so for this one, it goes like this. Is your bottom cord, that's your top cord. That's the bottom cord, that's your top cord. Now, in that problem that was given to you, your top cord has a force of acting along this area, along this one force of 50 kilonewtons okay 50 kilonewtons and that force of 50 kilonewtons is acting at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal so this is equivalent to 30 degrees that's 30 degrees now the question you have in your problem is what is supposed to be the value of b what's the value of b when that is your thickness oh no that's yeah that's the width of your bottom cords 150 millimeters 150 millimeters because it will shear off this particular area it will shear off this area this one this will shear off this part will shear off which is this one and that shaded part that will shear off is this one that's the shaded part so you are looking at this as what is this value for b what is b and it goes something like uh, Go something like you have here your side view of your uh, top cord, okay? Goes that way, goes this way, and the force, the force of 50 kilonewtons, this 50 kilonewtons, this 50 kilonewtons will have a horizontal component. That horizontal component, which is equivalent to 50 cosine of 30 equivalent to 43.3 kilonewtons is the force that is responsible in trying to shear off this area this area which is this part that part is going to slide it off that way so it was given that the stress the stress of that top cord the stress is equivalent to 900 kilopascal so you know that the stress of 900 kilopascal is the same thing as 0 0.9 megapascal no, newton per millimeter squared now you have a force of the horizontal force of 43.3 or 43,300 newtons that is the force divided by the area and the area that will shoot up it's going to slide so the sliding area is this one covering a uh, a thickness of B and a width of 150 that's 150 so it is B times 150 that's giving you a result of B equivalent to 30 uh, 300 um, um, 320 uh, let me compute okay let me compute it is 43 thousand three hundred uh, divided by 150 divided by 0.9 is equivalent to 320.75 so it's 320.75 millimeters so that is how that problem was solved so remember the top cord is going to have a horizontal component that will slide off this area, this area, this particular area, that area, which is this one of your bottom cord. Thank you.